Today I'm going to show you how we can make some filled text, just like this, right within Xtool Creative Space. So the first thing we're going to need is some text. If I just select the text tool, and I'm going to type mum. Scale that up. Now we're looking for a thick font, something that we can fill in. And I've got one called Titan One, so nice, thick, chunky font. And you can get this from Google Fonts, and I'll leave a link to this in the description below. From there, I'm going to have about 200 mil high, and we need to split text. I'm just going to show you how to do the M, but it's the same process for any other letter. So just make sure that's 200, and we're going to center. From there, we're going to go to the offset tool, and we just want the inner, and I'm going to make it about five millimeters. Then if we select both, we can right click, convert to path, select both again, and then make compound vector. And we can put that onto the engrave process to fill it in. Now we just need to go to the shape panel go down to plant, and then we can just start looking at some shapes and clicking and placing on the artboard. We can choose flowers, and we can choose some leaves, and just take anything that you fancy really. Nice solid shapes, anything that looks good. Then once we have a few different shapes, we can we can look at some of these, like this actually won't work, but we can alter this. If we offset about two millimeters, then we can select everything and make compound vector. We now have a flower shape from this. So we can delete that one. And we can do the same thing with this one, offset. And then again, select everything, right click, make compound vector. And if there's any other shapes around that look a bit strange, I mean, this one, we can look at this one. And it's a bit too thick and chunky compared to all the rest. So what we can do there is we can actually offset inwards. And if we put it on the score layer, we can offset that inwards. So something like one millimeter then delete the outside shape. Then if we put onto the engrave process, it doesn't look right. So all we need to do is release compound vector and then make compound vector. And that cleans that up. From there, all we need to do now is start placing some of these shapes around. So I'm just going to place some inside for now. It doesn't matter where they go. I'm just choosing the ones that I think will work the best and look similar. So I'm actually going to have a look at this and if we put onto the score layer I'm actually going to get rid of the internal shapes. So for at least compound vector, and then we need to click off, and then we can start deleting some of these internal shapes. Like this. This shape here is actually joined. So what we might need to do is double click or go to edit and then we can just start deleting some of these shapes. And from there, we can actually delete that one. And to stop this overlap, all we need to do is bring this handle down and make it flow nicely. We'll just click escape. And there we have that shape. We can actually do the same for the bottom. So we can select these shapes, delete, select these shapes, delete. And we just need to grab this handle and we can bring it round. And click done. If we put that onto the engrave process, it looks a lot better. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to go around and start placing these shapes just so they overlap around the outside shape. And we can rotate and scale just so they intersect nicely. And I'm just going to go around and it doesn't matter if the shapes go over the outside of the letter. We'll fix that later. But for now, I'll probably just speed this up. But all you have to do is just place them around, overlapping. Okay, so now I'm just going to look around and we're going to look for any gaps we have like this. So I think that is the only one we've got. This is around the edge. So yes, we just need to clean this up. So we just need to go to edit and we can click and add a point and move that down just so it's all closed up. I can move that over a little bit and then we click done, just so it's a nice solid fill. Now we need to join all this together, but first I'm going to copy and paste the outside M and we're going to release the compound path. Then we can just delete this inside edge. From there, we can select all of the black and then choose Unite which joins everything up. But as you can see, we do have little bits that are going outside of the M. So all we need to do is release the compound path, delete the outside M, and because we had this centered, we can now just choose a line center to align it back up. We choose everything, and then we just go to make compound vector, put onto the engrave layer, and there we have the finished floral M. And all you need to do is do the same process for any other letter. So before you join everything up, I would suggest making a copy of all the separate flowers and grass and leaves, and then you can use the same shapes for each letter. And if you're interested, I do have a full alphabet set available in my Etsy store and design find shop. Links in the description below. Every little helps to keep creating these videos, but thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.